Well, good morning. Sunday morning, just. I'm uh, into my coffee. And when I've had my coffee, I'll be off to the kitchen and I'm going to bake. And we're going visiting this evening, uh, about five-ish, to see some friends. And we haven't actually been there for about 15 months. Um, and we used to go every month. They'd either come here or we'd go there and we'd have dinner together. And of course, well, you know, I won't mention the word. And um, anyway, so I thought I'd bake something to take along and um, as a treat. And I'm trying out a new recipe, so I'm really hoping that we're going to work out. So, uh, and I thought I'd show you. So that's about all. Well, the reason we haven't been there is, um, well, uh, she's a dentist. So very important that there's no, in, um, no f infections or anything in the house. The young daughter goes to school, to primary level. And he has a brewery, a beer brewery. And... Um, a, a small one so you know we just sort of kept clear of each other we kept in touch but we just kept clear of each other on a personal visiting basis so today we're going I mean my husband and I have had our vaccinations we need our booster but that's next week so, um, yeah that'd be lovely so I'll just finish my coffee and um, off we'll go The biscuits I'm making are called Bokkenbokjes. They're a Dutch biscuit, or it, they might have them elsewhere too. But the, I, I can't understand why they're called that, because a Bokkenbokt is a leg, a, a goat's leg, or a billy goat's leg. <laughs> but it's dipped in um, chocolate on both ends. And um, you put two of the biscuits together with a, a buttercream. So, but a book about you. So I'll be making those um, for the very first time. So here's hoping. Wish me luck. Wow, that looks awesome. All the sugar has dissolved and let's get sorted. Next step is to fold in the flour, um, the both the sorts of flours. This is the almond almond meal, almond flour, and the ordinary flour. And I'll just do half and half. I might pop that in there actually. Right. And the idea is to just fold it in. Now, I mean I have worked with meringue before. I just haven't made these biscuits before, so I do know that you're meant to just fold it gently. Just a little bit left to go. Now the oven is preheating to 180. And they don't take long at all. Only a few minutes, 15 minutes, I'm told. Well, here's a laugh. <laughs> While I was piping them onto the tray, I actually thought that I'd... Um, <laughs> I turned the video on, but I hadn't. So they're in the oven now. <laughs> Only got five, 15 minutes to go. Um, I ran out of icing sugar. And you can fix that quite easily. I don't need a lot. But I do have a grinder. This is a... Uh, coffee bean grinder but you can use it for herbs and things I do um, and I just added some ordinary sugar there you go and a presto icing sugar and I'd like to admit to another boo-boo <laughs> it's just not my day I know why I'm distracted but it's got nothing to do with the baking and um, I was supposed to sprinkle <laughs> some of the uh, crushed almonds on the meringue before I popped it in the oven. So I've got a solution. Um, and the, that I'm going to put in between the two. And when I dip them in the chocolate, I will also dip them in the um, almond um, flax. So <laughs> not, my, not my day. Well, it is really. I mean, they'll taste lovely all the same, but 
just, oh, well, probably I seem to adjust recipes all the time. <laughs> uh, so maybe this is just a book of poches a la Anita. Just going to take them at the oven now. And they're nice and light brown, golden brown. They're looking all right for the first attempt. I'll take them off the baking tray. There we go. The paper slip sliding away. It's now time to spread the um, the butter, the cream butter with the almonds between them. I'll just grab a knife. There we are. I have matched them up. So there's bits of almond in between, so it's not as smooth as creamed butter would be otherwise. And just clear away with bits on the side. So now that I've uh, put the buttercream between them, I am now going to dip in the chocolate, which I've melted Obey Marie. Dip it quite royally, because I've got enough chocolate. On the other side. And then, Dip in the almonds, because that's what I forgot. Quite a messy process, isn't it, really? But it's all right, it's very warm too. There we go. Well, here they are, in a row. Uh, they look more like dogs than a bone, don't they? <laughs> I don't know why they're called boca poches. But anyway, they're done. They were set. And I will be taking those with us this afternoon when we go and visit our friends. So here I am back in my room. And um, I, I have to say, it's a bit of a muddle. Um, I'm normally better prepared. I normally feel more confident, and I really did muddle up, didn't I? But never mind, they, they're going to taste just lovely. I'm sure they are, and I'm sure they'll be well received. And I will make them again. <laughs> um, and I'll use different chocolate. I also knew, I, I actually didn't have the right chocolate in the house, and I just used this thinking, oh, it'll be all right. But it wasn't quite. I mean, it tastes lovely, and it... I turned the heat up afterwards and I re-melted re it, but anyway, boca poches. Oh, well, I spent an hour in the kitchen having fun, so that's the main thing. And I like going to the kitchen, it's distracting from other thoughts and things, and <laughs> today maybe not quite so much. And um, yeah, so we're going to enjoy our boca poches. So I hope you have a good day and... Should you want to try the recipe, give it a go and let me know. Because, um, you know, it's such good, yeah, it's, it's nice to share your experiences um, with people so that they know, you know, so that, that others also either struggle or are far more competent. So it just, yeah, no, it's good. Okay, so leave some comments. And uh, what is one of your favourites, which was a failure to start with? That'd be cool. Yeah, share some recipes. All right, bye for now.